Hi, this is Abhishek Rawal from ExpressComputer.in. Today we have Abonti Banerjee, the Chief of Marketing and Digital at Tata Capital. Hi, Abonti. Hi, Abhishek. Uh, so, Abonti, uh, you know, Tata Capital has undertaken a lot of initiatives as far as uh, digital is concerned. And, uh, you know, they have been in various areas like uh, retail customers and for MSMEs. Uh, so, you know, if you can start off with uh, what are some of the business offerings uh, by Tata Capital that have been launched uh, in the past and, you know, what are the associated technology platforms and customer journeys, ease of customer use for those platforms has been enabled by Tata Capital? So, we start from a place where we say that we want to transform experience of the customer regardless of the product he is buying from us and therefore transforming experience becomes our key goal across all our products and platforms. So that's like a strategic pillar or, or an objective for us. And the second one being that, you know, we would like to transform the distributor journeys as well. So with these two objectives, we look, look, we've looked at each product, be it retail as well as SME and try to transform the entire experience. So if you look at the retail products, starting, starting from the unsecured loans, uh, like the personal loan, to the secured loans that we have, including two-wheeler and other vehicle loans, we have completely digitized the customer journey end to end. So be it from the sourcing to the underwriting to the collection process, onboarding, all of that is today digitized. Uh, it is of course available on all digital platforms, portal, mobile, uh, we leave the customer to choose the platform. Uh, the end objective is of course to make things much faster for the customer, make it simpler and also transform the back end. Uh, when I say transform the back end, use of uh, scorecards, do underwriting far more quickly, uh, collect far more quickly where required. So we look at it as a transformation of both the front end and the back end. So this is a little bit on the retail and obviously the end goal is to you know deliver things faster and uh, it of course has a cost side to it as well that as more and more of the business shifts, shifts to the digital side we get cost benefits as an organization. Uh, on the commercial or the SME side uh, our journey has also been very good uh, in the sense that uh, we have a digital platform which today we can use to sanction loan of up to uh, 5 crores in case of a uh, channel finance product. We have uh, developed a whole range of scorecards based on the value of the loan and uh, the entire process just like in the retail case is digitized. So starting from the customer coming in giving us details to uh, the underwriting process to the document upload process and while we started off with the belief that maybe the SME customers would be slightly slower to adopt, we find that uh, adoption has been very, very good. And uh, it has obviously transformed the customer experience in this case. So, you know, uh, from a situation where it would take days to get a sanction, we find that we can actually give sanctions for very, very high ticket loans even the same day. And we've got very, very uh, positive feedback from the customers for this. So these are some of the you know uh, products that we've already worked on. The goal is that we take each product and we transform the journey. That's what we're working towards. Okay. So uh, can you uh, share more details about the TR chatbot that you had launched? So the, the chatbot would really fall in the realm of what we're trying to do to uh, transform customer experience again. So uh, this is of course uh, based on uh, NLP use and uh, the bot uh, was conceived with the objective of aiding the customer in whatever he does, be it a purchase process, be it servicing, be it information search. So it works across the platforms and uh, the other important thing about it is that we invested in voice. Uh, we believe that India as a nation is, is adopting voice far more quickly than other nations and therefore it will become a mainstay. It already has in fact, if you look at the proportion of Google search on voice, it's very high. Uh, and while usage has picked up across industries, uh, we are finding that even in the financial industry there are few, there are fair number of use cases. Uh, so that was a thinking process. So when we enabled TIA, we also enabled it with voice and we are finding that customers are also uh, liking and using this feature. So in fact, close to 25 to 30 percent in any given month use the voice facility when they interact with us to purchase the loan. 
uh, TIA also look, you know covers a servicing aspect. So once you purchase a loan, you have a number of uh, servicing requests that you may make. So uh, uh, a lot of our requests have actually moved to the uh, bot, and we are looking at enabling voice across. So that's really the strategy to enable the customer to self serve and uh, you know uh, enable him to use whichever channel he chooses, be it text, be it voice. Okay. So uh, upon the usage of dig digital platforms, the the percentage of usage vis-a-vis, -vis, uh, you know how it's done physically is very important. Right. So when you launch digital platforms, uh, you know how has been the usage as far as the digital mediums is concerned. So it can be businesses business happening through the portal or your chatbot or uh, the mobile app. So what has been the kind of response from customers, both SME and retail? I'll quote a couple of numbers. One is that on the servicing side, I think we do upwards of 50% of our servicing on digital platforms today. And uh, this is obviously moving away from the branch and the phone banking centers to, into digital. Uh, customers today are used to self-serving and once you make it easy for them, they really adopt it very, very quickly. Uh, the other number I can share with you is on the SME side, uh, you know, in, in the uh, uh, digital platform that we've uh, launched last year, uh, more than 50% uh, of the volume of loans are actually coming through the digital platform. And it's enabled us to actually enter a low ticket segment uh, and really ramp up volumes there. So all in all, I think it's been successful. It's of course a continuous journey. So as industry moves ahead, as uh, you know, more and more customers come into the sourcing platforms for digital, we'll see further uptake. But given uh, the last few months, I would say it's, it's been a fairly good response from the customers. Okay. And as far as uh, the customer acquisition is concerned or uh, the digital aspect of it, it is concerned, it's very important to keep the entire process end to end in a digital format. So when you see underwriting, uh, very important that you connect with various uh, kind of data available in the public domain. So for example, uh, connecting with the data of Udyog or GST, you know, so how as in how have you done it that way? So we have a, a robust API layer and today we use uh, all of the, what you're quoting, you know, give, be it GST, be it Aadhaar, the bank statements, the ITR returns, all of that. So wherever possible, our intent is not to ask the customer to fill, but ask him to just fetch or, you know, enable us to fetch. That is the intent and that is how all our journeys have been created. This does two things, of course, this uh, helps the customer, makes it simpler for him. We ask him to fill less and also gives us an authenticated and valid source of information. So we are using all of this and I think this will just get stronger as more and more people you know, become more comfortable with using all of these. Uh, the amount of information we can fetch will only increase. Okay, and uh, can you also elaborate on the online working capital platform? There's a separate platform for it. So it is a fully digital platform which allows a customer to come in, share his details with us, fetch information you know from uh, other uh, places that you describe like GST fetches bank statements upload all the documents uh, enables us to do underwriting we have a robust underwriting engine at the back uh, we use more than a thousand data points in fact in some cases to underwrite and uh, then we try to give the sanction almost immediately if the customer has actually uploaded all the documents if not it may require a conversation uh, it's usually video based post which we would uh, give the sanction. So this is a working capital platform. It's uh, done very well. Uh, like I mentioned earlier, more than half of the you know loans are on this platform now in terms of volume. And uh, we are hoping that it will see further uptake in the coming months. Okay. And uh, as far as customer feedback is concerned, you know, when you talk to customers on the kind of experiencing, uh, on the kind of experience that they have had, uh, after using your platform and after the loan has been dispersed you know how do how do you take feedback and what is the response that you receive from the customers and uh, what are the kind of changes that you see happening in the near future to adapt to customer requirement requirements more while we develop any product we first take inputs from the customer during the uat stage you know we actually enable the customers to get some access we run closed user groups so that uh, we see what is the comfort level with the journey, with the UI and all of that. 
and of course we also do structured feedback you know cu structured customer service surveys we do that at regular intervals so all of these uh, you know serve to give us inputs into what we build next that's it from my side thank you so thank much thank you so time. much yeah.